What up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Oliver, with Big Time Truckers. And I'm back with another one of them country ass videos. So, I've been getting hit up by people, not only on YouTube, but just people in general who have concerns about trucking. As you all know, I think trucking is uh, one of the one of the best careers out there, man. Honestly, and a lot of things that I hear are normally from people asking, "Do they do drug tests at these at these mega carriers or at any of these carriers? Do they drug test?" Well, my response to them has to be, well, are you doing drugs? You know, because in my mind, anybody who asks you, oh, do they drug test? They must they they must have something going on. Not always the case, but a lot of times they must have something going on. So yes. Uh Nine times out of 10, most of these carriers do drug tests. I know uh, I'm, I'm with Prime, they, they do drug tests, they piss tests. Um, uh, other places do hair follicle. Some may just swab your mouth. Uh, I don't know about nobody doing no uh, blood samples, but Hey, they might do it out here. Who knows? But y'all, listen, listen to me, man. Listen to me clearly. Listen to me clearly. If you want to be a truck driver, if you want to come out here and get over the road, start and change your life, and start making better money for your family. You just you gotta leave that stuff alone, man. You gotta leave that stuff alone. Leave it alone. I mean, at, at some point in time, you gotta understand that the things that you're doing in your life may not be working for you. And you gotta change it up, man. Definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a new result. That's just like going in your kitchen, looking in your refrigerator 10 times. And you know your ass ain't been to no damn grocery store. Whoa, dude, you kind of close, buddy. You know, <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry, but you know you haven't been to the grocery store in the last five days. It ain't nothing new in that damn refrigerator. Stop going in that refrigerator looking for the new, the new food, new drinks, candy, whatever the hell you may be looking for. It's not in there, okay? If you haven't went to the grocery store and bought new food, it's not in there. Nothing changed. Same thing applies with you and your life. Hey, listen, man, you do whatever it is you want to do. You want to continue to smoke weed, you know, play with your nose, you know what I mean? That's that's your prerogative. I, don't, I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know, live your life. It's your life to live. Who am I to judge you? But what I'm saying is, if you want to change, and you want things to change in your life, then you got to change something about your life. You can't just expect to wake up one morning and poof. You got a brand new life. You ain't had to do nothing. All you had to do was chill. Because that's what a lot of y'all expecting to do. Man, as long as I just chill. You know, I, I could just chill and and wish and pray that things happen. 
Nah, man. It don't work like that. So put down the weed. Stop playing with your nose. Sign up for a, a mega carrier. You know, if it's your first, if it's your first company or whatever, uh, you may have, you know, did some truck driving in the past. You may have let your CDL expire, and you might have to uh, turn around and uh, take your CDL test again, and all the other, all that other good stuff. Stop playing. Stop playing around, man. Go out here, do what you got to do to change your life. A lot of places they do piss tests. Like I said, I know for a fact Prime does the pee test. Uh, most of these companies, they're not playing with y'all, man. They do our hair follicle. They want to know, yo, is this man? And this man smoked weed in the last three months. They pulling that hell. They coming for you. So the whole get your little cousin to pee for you in the bottle or, or do this or do that, man, that just ain't gonna work for you. It ain't gonna work, man. Another thing, man, when y'all get out here, once you get out here, it ain't over. They will randomly drug test you while you're working for their company. Well, Mr. Oliver, how do you know that they'll randomly drug test you? Well, I'm glad you asked, since you are so curious to know. Because they drug test me regularly. Yeah, you heard it here first, regularly. They drug test you. You think, because, oh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop smoking for, for three months, I'm gonna go out here, uh, train, get my CDLs, I'm gonna go home, start driving, man, and I'm gonna get in the truck. Man, shoot, I'm gonna blaze up. I'm gonna touch the sky, it is what it is. Man, listen, don't be stupid. Don't be coming out here being stupid, making yourself look stupid, making your family look stupid. You know, don't come out here with that mentality. If you if you trying to do trucking, man, you gotta give some things up, man. We, it's got to go. You know, the, the nose, the candy, it's got to go. And then, on top of that, one thing that people really don't talk about like that is the drinking. If you are a hard drinker, man, or, or you uh, you know that you are a substance abuser, which means that if you find uh, any kind of high or enjoyment out of uh, alcohol or drug abuse, and you know that's you, man, you might as well just not even, don't even put the application in. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Don't waste these folk time. <coughs> don't waste their time, man. Because <clears throat> you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself. Because once you get a drug test and you fail that drug test, it is X amount of years until that drug test is off of your record. Hell, it may not never get off. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. But I do know that it's going it's going to take some time. So it ain't going to be like, "Oh man, I just I just failed a drug test. Uh I should be able to, you know, wait like a year or so and I'll be able to get my I'll be able to get another trucking job." Nope. Can you get another job? Nope. Can you drop another truck? Nope. Can you work for Prime? Nope. It ain't happening. It ain't happening, man. They will they will randomly drug test you. They'll pull you in. They, what they do is they bring you in 
uh, to the yard. They may tell you, oh man, you gotta pick up your permits, man, uh, for the truck. Maybe get your uh, new sticker for your license. You know, if the, if the years changed over, or, you know, your registration cards or all any of that stuff, man. And once you pull up in that bay, boom, they got you. They got you. They come up to you, hey man, you been selected for a random drug test. And you know, if you know you're clean, you good. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You're clean. You have nothing to worry about. But if you're dirty, oh, oh buddy, you're gonna be singing that song all the way home on a ticket that you paid for. Cause you better believe ain't nobody paying for you to get back home. And you, and you the one messed up. Come on, fam. I don't know nobody who do that. So if you gotta come, if you gotta come in my comments, or or you uh you asking me, man, do they do they do drug tests at your company? In my mind, I'm already thinking, man, you are you already done, buddy. You already done. <clears throat> if you gotta ask that question, nine times out of ten, you probably dirty. You know, it ain't no, I, I ain't got nothing against people who, who smoke weed or, you know, play with your nose. Hey, that's your thing. If that's what you want to do, have fun doing it. But just know, if, if you try to be a CDL holder, class A driver, you want to get out here and push these big boys down the highway, you want to make good money, change your life, change your family life, Maybe start a career for your kids, you know, to put them on and and, uh, and have them set up before they even get out of high school. This and that. Man, you gotta change your life up, man. You can't get no new results doing the same thing. It just don't work like that. You gotta change it up. Stop doing that stuff, man. It's not. It ain't, it ain't good for you. I mean, if you need it, you need it. I'm not mad at you. But it come a point in time in your life, man, where you just gotta sit down, you gotta self-reflect. You gotta evaluate yourself. You gotta evaluate yourself and say, hey, man, what, what do I really wanna do with my life, man? What do I, what do I plan to accomplish? Do I want to work in a restaurant for the rest of my life? You know, do I want to? Uh, uh, do I want to be uh, working at the cash at a cash register? Do I want to work under somebody? If you want to do that, then that's fine. It's no, I have nothing against you. You do whatever it is that you want to do. Whatever fulfills you. <coughs> Y'all got excuse me, man. I'm still working on this cold. It's almost gone. I ain't quite gone yet. But you know, you gotta, you gotta figure it out. What you, what it is that you want to do? See me. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, man. I love to smoke weed. I used to do it, man. I used to be at work. Couldn't wait to get off. Just to get home and blaze up so I can so I can relax. Y'all, man, if you if you smoke, you know the feeling, man. You you get home, you sit down on that bed, you took a shower, you wait to eat now. You ain't ate yet, because you waiting to smoke. You're gonna, you're gonna burn one first. And after you burn one, let's go ahead and get over. Got these Amish people out here. Shouts out to anybody who's Amish. You gotta be a strong people, man. For that, for that lifestyle. But anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. 
Yeah, you sit on that bed, took a shower, you did all the stuff you need to do, you wait to eat. You blaze up, you sit there, and you watch something, you, <coughs> you fire up. Tote, tote. laugh at whatever it is that you're watching and the hunger pain set in. It's time to go to work then. It's time to clock back in. You done got off work one time. You about to clock back in on that plate. I've been there. I've been there. So I understand. But if you want to change your life, man, you got to put those drugs down, man. Some stuff just, you know, don't don't go well together. Trucking and drugs. Trucking and alcohol. You gotta be in your right mind, man. You can't be driving this truck down the highway and you all bust up. You all, you, you drunk, you wet up, you drunk. You can't do that, man. You, Everybody else hands around every hands, Lord Jesus. Everybody else lives around you are are in your hands, man. You got a a a, 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 a big ass tank. At any time, man, you can take anybody's life, including your own. So you got to think, man. You can't be out here driving drunk. You know what I mean? A lot of times, and they. Don't don't get me wrong. They out. They uh, they drug test you, but the alcohol test you too now. They'll see whether you had any alcohol in your system in the last 24 hours. Cause I think that's a, as long as it stays in your system. So don't get it twisted. Like oh they they only they only drug test me. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple shots, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple rounds go. I'm gonna be the life of the party tonight. I'm gonna hop in that truck and I'm gonna keep on riding. <clears throat> but they'll get you and not only will they get you at the uh, at your terminal wherever you work for or whatever the case may be whatever y'all call it your yard terminal whatever you call it or they'll pull you at the at the uh, <clears throat> the DOT will pull you they'll pull you right there at that weight station you thought you was good. Last night you had a party. You had a good old time. Turn it up. The girls was on you. <coughs> the fellas was feeling you. You was the man. You was feeling like the man when you walked through. You was feeling like the man when you walked through. Now your ass ain't got no job in the morning. You ain't got no dang job in the morning. Cause they done got you. Don't be stupid, y'all. Don't come out here thinking that you can get over on these people, man. They've been doing this for a long time. They've been doing this for a hell of a long time. A lot longer than you probably been trucking. And believe me, most times it's longer than you have been trucking. These people been doing this. So be smart, be smart, change your life. Come get your CDLs, sober up, man. Put that stuff down. Put that childish stuff away. And hell, if you wanna do it later, do it later, man. You know, <clears throat> take some time, drive these trucks. Hell, create your own company, sit back if you want to. I ain't doing no promoting, but uh, if you want to, roll it up, smoke it up. Exhale, exhale. <laughs> it's, it's all up to you. Can't nobody live your life for you. You gotta, you gotta decide. All right, caller, I heard you. But yeah, man, I just wanted to uh, to, to touch in with y'all.
because I've been hearing this a lot. People asking if they do drug tests. I just want to I just want to check in with y'all. You know, I feel like hey, I might as well do a video of it. <clears throat> so y'all know the motto already. Strive for what you want, do what you can, and if you do a little bit more, do that too. It's Mr. Oliver, and we're checking out.